On today's video, we are gonna do a shop my stash, kind of get ready to assemble a little weekly bowl that I can pick from as far as like coffee goes. So we're gonna do that in today's video and let's get started. Okay, so walking over to where I store my pods that I'm gonna use for the week, I have these bowls and since my last video, I just threw everything in here. Literally no rhyme or reason because these are all ice legeros, ice fortes, and I'm not gonna use, I'm not gonna drink those all week. Also, these it's kind of like a sad looking bowl, kind of empty. So I'm gonna look at my stash and see what I have, and then we'll like fill these bowls up. And these are the pods that we'll use for the rest of the week. So since my last video, I even mentioned it in the actual like video where I want to just organize my pods a little bit better. I ordered some Amazon containers. They're supposed to get here today, but once they do, I'm going to also include a clip where I'm organizing my my pods. So just bear with me. I know some of you guys are probably thinking that they are just boxes crammed up in there. I get it. I, I don't like it myself, and I've been meaning to get around to organizing that stash, but hopefully the containers that I get work out. And if they do, I'll link them down in the description box for you guys. Okay, so... What I wanna do is get a variety of maybe a light, medium, and maybe just one or two dark roasts since I'm not a big fan of extremely dark roasts. I think I do have Bianco Forte that I need to get rid of, so maybe I'll include maybe one or two of those in my stash for the week. Usually about 12 o'clock, one o'clock, I call it my iced coffee time because that's when I usually drink iced coffee. I'm craving it by that time. So I would like to include some of my favorite iced coffee pods. I do have a video of my favorite iced coffee capsules. Mainly, I think it's for Virtual line. I've been meaning to get around to making one for the original line. But if you wanna look at that video, um, I'll link it up above for you guys. I have a couple. So I'll have like pods that I can use for iced coffee. And so what I want you guys to help me out with as you see the pods that are going into my bowl, maybe wait till the end just to see everything that I have. In the comment section, let me know what your favorite way to drink a certain pot. So like for example, if you see double espresso squirrel, what is your favorite recipe? I would love to know because that will also help me kind of do a recipe and you might see it in a reel on my Instagram. So write down your favorite recipes for you know several pods that you see and down in the comment section. I'm sure a lot of us would love to see what you guys do with different pots. Let's get started. I'm gonna go and look at my stash. And these are for sure going back in there because you know I don't need Ice Legero all week. And then two random La Cumplida Refinada. So, and then these are just, I think these were like, a lot of these are Ristretto. Yeah, Ristretto capsules that I barely ever drink. But you know what, since we're doing this Novi, that brings me to another topic. I'm afraid that I'm going to run out of the virtual line sooner than the original line. So I'm going to be very like strategic, I guess, in the way that I choose my pods every week so that we have a variety. And that way at the end of the no buy, I don't have just original line recipes and reels and stuff like that. So, you know, also keep that in mind. And if you guys are following along and shopping your own stash as well, follow me on Instagram and tag me on your weekly shopped stash. I would love to see it. I want to see what your stash looks like for the week. Okay, so enough rambling. Let's do this. You know what, since we have two lines between one week, then I don't really need as much as I thought I needed. So I'm gonna do, for example, I'm gonna need at least, man, this is harder than I thought. Let me think this through. I'll probably have more than I need in the bowl just to make sure, just to keep it interesting and kind of have a little bit of an option. I'm not gonna stick to like, okay, Monday, I'm gonna drink this, Tuesday, you know, I'm not gonna do that. That relieves me a little bit more. And this is not that serious, guys, okay. Okay, so it's just a few iced coffee options. I'm going to just include two iced Legeros. And then I do have two La Cumplida Refinadas here, but I'm only going to put one. And these are double espresso shots, so I don't need two of each. I only need one, and that's awesome. My husband has been enjoying the pumpkin capsule, and usually in the morning, I always make him one, but maybe like three days out of the week. So I'll put in three of these for him. And so most likely, if he does ask for coffee, it'll be these. There is a recipe that I wanna try. I don't think it'll be a video, but it'll for sure be a reel. Um, of iced Vietnamese coffee 
with condensed milk. So I might try that this week. I'm gonna add two of the Il Cafés in there for that. In the morning, I do like hot coffee. That's like a big amount. So I'm gonna include one of the coconut capsules. And then another big one would be caramel cookie, which is like my favorite. And I think this is, I think this is good for Ritual line. I'll show you guys what everything towards the end. For original line, I might put two of the Inspiracione Millennium. And I always do two because I never know if I'm gonna do a full double shot latte or if it's just single. And sometimes I do a Lungo latte. So at that point, I would probably only use one, but I'm gonna put two in there. I have been enjoying Ethiopia. And you can eat this one. You can drink this one as a lungo. So I'm going to do a lungo. So I'm going to do one of those. I like Colombia. Throw that in there. I like to have the caramel cookie as options. So I'll throw those in there. Starbucks Pike Place lungos are good as well. The Tokyo lungo is really nice for like a lavender latte. So I'll have, I'll have these in here. I think that is enough for the week. Am I crazy or is this not enough? Okay, so for virtual line, I have the two Il, Caf Il Cafes. I have, you know what, maybe I don't have enough because I forgot that sometimes my husband asks for coffee late at night and in the morning, so I might have to add more. I have one coconut pod, two ice legeros, one caramel cookie, one la cumplida refinada. Let me add a couple decaf options for my husband. Okay, I got one uh, decaffeinado. I think this is discontinued. Now they have um, more options. This one I figured it's big so we can divide it into two drinks and then that way I could also have some with him. So we'll do that. Moving on to original line. So this is my original line bowl. It looks kind of sad, but honestly, we don't need to fill it up all the way. I have the Starbucks Pike Place. These are supposed to be brewed as Lungos, but honestly, you can probably do espresso and it'll just be a little bit stronger tasting. I have one for the lavender latte that I would want to do. Caramel cookie is great for caramel lattes. This one, I believe, was like a fruity kind of pod. So you could actually mix this with cranberry syrup. It's really, really good. The strawberry rose syrup was good too. Maybe the lavender lemon would be nice. Um, but even French vanilla tasted good with this one. So that one has a few options. Colombia tastes really good with cranberry syrup. Oh my God, if you haven't tried it, you need to try it. It is delicious that one might even pair well with the creme de cacao syrup since it's like a whiny kind of capsule ethiopia i love with my ph delight from um pink house alchemy it is so good so good and then this one's another just like an older packaging same thing and then speaking of decaf i grabbed these two for my husband they're a little on the stronger side but um, I'll probably brew it as a lungo for him just so that it's a little more watered down and it's decaf, his favorite. So we'll just throw those in. All right, so let's take these back to their little home. Original line, virtual line. And all this coffee picking, now I want my iced coffee. And it is iced coffee time, so I'm gonna just record myself brewing some coffee, making a little concoction. I think I'm gonna do a lavender lemon iced coffee with Inspiracione Millennium. That's what we're gonna do.
So good. Oh, you know what? I forgot. My friend's recipe requires white chocolate. Right, Jackie? You like the white chocolate? <laughs> so, let's put a little bit of white chocolate in this drink. I hate how the Monin bottles do that. This is totally not a fall drink, but it is very, very, very refreshing. All right, so now it's a waiting game for the containers. I'm just gonna sip on my coffee and enjoy it. And then hopefully next clip is me organizing. <laughs> It is like four, five hours later <laughs> since we were last filming and finally got the goods. we have once you stack them is like from here to the top I'm taking one of the biggest ones which is their coffee mug size and I'm hoping to store them this way so I'm gonna just dump them out and then <laughs> So those are might be a little too big. Maybe I'll have these on top and on the bottom we'll put like the double espresso ones. A wrong deal. And then I think this way we can stack them. So they kind of stack. And then I could still see them from underneath. Okay. Okay, so it's not the best situation, but I think. If I put the top ones or the biggest ones on top, then these are okay. Or you know what? I'm gonna do the original line first because that one is the one that's most out of hand. Everything is in a Ziploc bag. So let me do that instead. them because this is how they look and they're not even fully stacked they don't look bad but i don't know i did combine the middle one because i didn't have enough of each capsule to give it its own container but even then i feel like if i have way more of these then they won't fit and part of me thinks maybe i should just keep them because in the future i just won't stack up that many i don't even know i think there's about at least 15 of these in here each box has 10 so I don't know I don't I'm not liking the whole system hmm. what do you guys think leave it in the comment section if you guys like how this looks I don't know maybe part of me is thinking I can keep these for original line but for sure find something different for for tool line because it's just not a good size for a tool line whatsoever and even then I could only fit like four or five of the bigger pads like these so i'm gonna return i mean i'm gonna keep these i'm gonna open up the other ones and just kind of sort those out as well because i do have six containers and then about actually like six flavors left so i kind of like them stacked like this because i could see them better especially since some of them are mixed. Like for example, this second one up here, I feel like if I do it like that, I could see more of the pods that are in there. I don't know why, why I didn't think of this, but instead of stacking four, I just stacked two each. So at least this is easier for me to grab. I like it. I do like it, okay. I'm gonna leave it like that. So two each, easy to grab, easy to see. And so I think I'm gonna leave it at that. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you guys are interested in these acrylic ones, especially if you have the original line, I think these are great. Now that I like 
to get better like that and it keeps me from buying too many boxes at once for example i feel like two boxes of each kind would be enough to fit in these containers hopefully i could find something for virtual line i'll keep you guys posted on that follow me on instagram because most likely i'll post it there first um and then i'll share it eventually in a video on youtube but yeah that is it for today's video if you guys are following along with my no buy let me know on instagram how it's going and in the comment section make sure to my cat that's my cat not my kid <laughs> So in the comment section, let me know how you guys like to drink several of the pots that you guys see in my bowl. I think that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.